I finished my series on the 2023 recruiting class. I made a video on every position group that we signed, judging the players, watching the tape on them, seeing what we got in that 2023 class. So it's time to move on to the 2024 class. Clemson currently has six commits, including five four stars and a kicker. Uh, in my opinion, Clemson so far has landed the best tight end prospect in the entire country, Christian Bentoncourt. Yeah, kids tape special. I can't wait to make a, a video on him. And sign a day, hopefully he stays on board. Instant, instant uh, impact player at tight end for us. Clemson's also got two four-star DBs, four-star defensive linemen. And, you know, I think one of the biggest needs for us was a four-star running back. C.J. Spiller, you know, has been missing on every recruit he's been trying to get for his two years. But he finally landed as number one guy. This is the only running back that we offered. So I'm really happy that C.J. was able to get his guy finally. But this video is going to cover the 2024 wish list. You know, these are the top five recruits that I really want Clemson to sign. Guys, I think would have a huge impact on the program. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can we can get all of them. And, and we're going to start at the top. And this was Sammy Brown, five-star linebacker out of Georgia. You know, Clemson's probably going to lose both of their starting linebackers after this season. You know, Barrett Carter, Jeremiah Trotter Jr., first-round talents, likely going to see them go to the next level. You know, if they had the year that Clemson fans are expecting, probably going to be first-round draft picks. You know, Sammy Brown is a guy, immediate impact player. I think he's the best linebacker recruit in the country. I know he's definitely rated that high, but just off the tape, he's the best linebacker recruit in the country. You know, he's one of the best linebacker recruits in recent memory, in my opinion, actually. And he's literally the prototype linebacker in every sense of the word. Athleticism is off the charts. You know, not only can he play linebacker at the next level, but you can clearly see on tape, He's a standout running back in high school as well. You know, he's the type of guy that can really do it all. He's got the athleticism to cover, particularly, you know, I think a guy that can drop into zone, probably fill in the gaps across the middle of the field. He's got the ability to blitz off the edge, the size, the strength, the athleticism. He, you know, he's got the ability to slant into A gaps, really just play sideline to sideline. Incredible speed on this kid. The strength numbers are off the charts. Some of the things you see, uh, and on video, on social media, this kid is crazy powerful. Adds in that speed as well. You know, he's, again, one of the more impressive linebacker recruits I, I, I can remember. He's definitely five-star instant impact type guy. Going to lose Jeremiah Trotter. Uh, Going to lose Barrett Carter. So, guy that can come in, probably immediate impact for us, if not star for us next year. Sammy Brown, huge recruit. Next up, Mike Matthews, five-star wide receiver out of Georgia. You know, T. Higgins back in 2017 was the last five-star recruit that Clemson has signed. And that wide receiver U label, you know, it's no longer viable for Clemson at this point. And I think when Clemson fans call us wide receiver U, it's kind of ridiculous. We have, we have fallen off way too much to even be able to have that compared to the likes of LSU and Ohio State and Alabama. We're just not even close to their stratosphere at this point. But Mike Matthews definitely changes that. You know, he's an immediate impact guy the moment he steps foot on campus. The speed jumps out on you, jumps out on the tape when you watch it, and that's something that Clemson's wide receiver room desperately needs. You know, I think we really need speed, that four three type guy. I don't think we have enough of them in today's modern college offenses. And I think this kid's going to thrive in Garrett Riley's scheme. Instant home run threat for us. The speed to really run by corners and safeties on deep routes, but also the type of playmaker that can take an underneath route seventy yards to the house. Again, we just don't have that type of guy on our roster, or at least not enough those guys on our roster. You know, I want Clemson to become wide receiver you again. Mike Matthews certainly will help that. And again, how Garrett Riley, Garrett Riley could utilize this kid. I mean, we'll just scheme him wide open, and he can take anything to the house. So Mike Matthews, big-time get for Clemson. Up next is uh, Heaven Brown Shuler, four-star line, defensive lineman out of Georgia. This kid's a defensive tackle. Clemson's going to lose Tyler Davis and Ruka Roro, so being able to get defensive tackles is pretty big for this class. We already have one in Champ Thompson. Heaven Brown Shuler would be the next one that we can get. 2023 was a special defensive tackle class with Peter Woods, Vic Burley, and Steph Island Green. Not to mention, Clemson's probably going to return Peyton Page, Trey Williams, Caden Story. You never know with the transfer portal, but we're set to return those six players. There's not really any rooms with that kind of talent already. So it's easy to say the defensive tackle probably isn't a huge need for Clemson this year. But, you know, I believe you can never have enough defensive linemen. And I think Heaven is is actually a nose tackle in college and, and a massive kid that's going to demand double teams. And I think that's, that's different than what we signed last year. 
the three we got last year to me, they're more three techniques. They're more athletes. They're more the Christian Wilkins type of defensive lineman or defensive tackle. Whereas I think Kevin Brown Schuler is in that mold of a Dexter Lawrence. Really is gonna be over the be over the center, gonna demand double teams from the center and the guard every time, especially as he gets in the weight room, adds more strength to his frame. You know, so I think nose tackle is pretty crucial for this class and and Heaven's one of the best ones in the entire country. You know, I think he's also going to commit in less than two weeks. And, and honestly, by all indications, it's going to be a good day for Clemson. I think we're definitely looking at a kid that's that's going to that's gonna sign with Clemson. So, Heaven Brown Schuler, big four-star nose tackle. Definitely need that guy for next year. Next up, Christopher Jackson, four-star edge, again out of Georgia. It's like the common theme in this video. Clemson's going to lose Xavier Thomas and Justin Maskell. They're gone to the next level. They've exhausted their eligibility after this year. And so obviously getting an instant impact guy when you're going to lose two starters is big. Also, you never know the transfer portal. So we just honestly don't know what the defensive room is going to look like next year, just like defensive tackles. And just like defensive tackle, you can never have enough defensive linemen. Jackson, in my opinion, is a true edge rusher. Definitely a five technique. Explosive athlete. You know, really good first step, uses his hands really well. He's got all the tools to be a very, very good uh, defensive end slash edge rusher. To me, he's probably never going to be a guy that develops into this elite run defender. But from a purely pass rushing perspective, this kid has a chance to be an elite, elite edge rusher. If he's a guy that enrolls early, you know, I think he has a chance to make an impact as a freshman. The weight room is going to be his best friend. Enrolling in the spring, getting started in that weight room early, it's going to be huge for this kid. You know, just like defensive tackle, we signed a great defensive end class last year as well. Jackson come in and compete with them right away. You know, again, never have enough defensive linemen. Definitely a big need for Clemson this year, given the fact that we're going to lose two of our starters. Fletcher Westfall is the last guy, force our offensive tackle out of Virginia. I think I played offensive line in high school, so it's my favorite position. To me, it's a need every single class. You always need to sign big time offensive lineman. The thing that stands out about Westfall is his size, 6'7", 300 pounds. I mean, that's just elite size. You can't coach that. Not many kids have that type of size. And Thomas Austin is making it a point to recruit recruit larger offensive linemen, which is something that I've been waiting for for so long. If you look at the three guys that we got last year, they're all big, strong, physical kids. Westfall certainly fits in that category with his size. He's, he's your prototypical left tackle, really good athlete, plays defensive line in high school as well. So, you know, speed, athleticism at, at offense line is important. It's hard to find, with especially with this type of size. So Fletcher Westfall has that. Not only is he a good athlete, you can see the strong punch on film. Really has a nasty streak to him. Really tries to finish his box. That's important moving forward because, you know, the technique obviously is going to have to improve, like for all offense linemen when they enter college. The strength is going to have to get there. Obviously, the upper body strength you have to develop in college is massive. You know, but that stuff comes with with weight room time. That stuff comes with reps. You can develop technique. You're going to develop strength, the physicality, the nastiness. That's just something you can't teach. And so, you know, I think this kid enters the weight room, probably needs a red shirt for a year, but has all the tools to be really, really, really good. And again, I love the fact that we're signing larger offensive linemen, and I really hope that trend continues with us signing Fletcher Westfall. But those are my top five recruits for 2024. You know, who knows what's going to happen. It does sound like Kevin Brown Schuler is going to commit to us pretty soon. Um, you know, I hope we can get all the other four that I talked about. This class hopefully can shape up to be a top 10 class. Would really love to see us sign more five-star recruits. But, you know, who knows what happens moving forward. Obviously, no idea. These are just the five guys that I would like to see in orange for Clemson next year. That's all I got. All right, go Tigers.